Hello, welcome back to Lady Rowena's Curse. When you're trying to find out how and why and where Isabel, Isabel, Isabella, uh, Lady Isabella, she's disappeared. We're trying to find out, hear everything you can about that, and if possible, find her. Barker, who is the leader of the Sheriff's Men here, I believe. My memory's terrible. This, this is all written down in notes. I probably still got it somewhere, right? Where's that? Where's that letter? Oh no, it's right at the start and I couldn't pick it up. Uh, should know something about what's happened. At least whatever they've discovered. And he's in the library, but the library is locked. I don't have a key. So I'm gonna need to come back to the library. So, this place is enormous. I have no idea, really, where I should be trying to get to. I've been in the pantry there, haven't we? Um, so what I'm going to do is narrow down the search a little. I'm going to try going upstairs, first of all. There's two sets of stairs, isn't there? There's the front stairs there, to the north. Hopefully I can get to. And there's these stairs which have a guard standing right in front of them. Because there's only, uh, you got six rooms up here. It should be easy enough, right? There's not going to be fewer guards. That's all, all where the uh, important people are hanging out. You know, the bedrooms and stuff. Surely the guards don't hang out there. Shut those, there's less noise leaking out. Now these windows jutting out is, is annoying. I can't stick near the walls as easily. <coughs> My patch of moss suddenly growing out of nowhere. Go slowly here. Yeah, somebody's sleeping. Is that a light switch I see? I do hope that's a light switch, not a door switch. Oh. Front door, front light, okay. Not helping me in this patch of brightness, but hopefully the stairs are dark, good. There's guards up here, though. Oop. What happened there? Somebody closed and locked the door. Big metal one by the sound of it. Can I... Should I... God, there's no darkness. Let's make a patch of darkness here. Hopefully nobody heard us. Ooh, gold, I'll take that. Alright, there's some food and wine out here. Somebody is... Somebody locked in here? This is what? Rowena's room. Who's Rowena? Obviously, Lady Rowena. She gave the titular curse. Okay, so there is a guard patrolling there. I think only the one. What does it say? Escape while you can. R. Oh, that's not ominous. And I can't escape. I can't get back out the way I came in. Oh, that needs a key. Let me let me mark that that needs a key because I've found a couple of places needing keys. Uh, the library also needs a key. Don't think I've come across any other doors yet that needed keys. But I can go. Oh, it's just another guard patrolling that same hallway. Yeah, so it seems like there's two. One fast and one slow. I'm going to need a patch of darkness to deal with them.
Alright, see you later, Adrian. Thanks for watching. I'm sure I'll be streaming more on and off. It'll come and go. Or usually, for, I'm always certain to do it intensely for long periods. Oh, so is he? Oh, he's outside on the balcony. Nobody! Shade. Misjumped. Misjudged to jump. Misjumped to judge. Go that way. I don't have an escape route plan. I'm gonna get everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where's the way down? Down, downstairs. To the boiler room. Black order them. Maybe I should see what's out this way after all. I don't know where they've gone and run off to. Normally they stay and taunt me when that happens. Well, uh, I will go this way. Since I've made a ruckus over there, they're definitely going to be on the alert for a while. So there's a pointless going back to the same part of the house. So let's find out where this actually comes out and what use that is to me. Unexpected change of plan, but you know, that's that's thief. Do a bit of a risk there, but it seems to pay off. I don't know if there was anyone else around or not. So where are we? Yeah, it makes sense that that's where we are here, underneath the sacristy. Oh, maybe I can go with my original plan A. If I can get out through the garden here to the north and get to the accident area. Well, that opens. Hello? No, 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 no. You sure nothing? Nothing there. Weird. It's really weird. Did you just turn around? Can you turn to your right, please, sir? Oh, actually, don't. You won't. Oh, he turned around anyway. Oh, he does face different directions. All right. What was that? About real villains? Alright, oh, that needs a key. So I can't get through there. Probably all of that area is the garden area is locked away for the moment. That's where I saw there was another door I saw that needed a key. It was this one to the garden here. Nope. Okay, not him. Oh, we've got another guard coming and going that way too. I was definitely taking a risk when I just bumped that other fellow, wasn't I? What's this? Wow, there's another guard, yet yeah, another guard patrolling that garden. And there I just ran out and uh and just hit the first one I saw over the head. I guess I was lucky. Can't quite, there is, see, that is a valuable bottle there and I can't quite reach it. Hmm. This looks like it should open, but there's no, I can't prob it. There's no sign of a switch. There. 
Alright, I don't know how how far do they have to actually wander around there. They could be going a good long way, they could be going a short way, I don't know. Now, he's usually a bit of a faster walker. He's, uh, he's actually the more dangerous one. I don't know how far they go down through that doorway, but at least a little way. Sleep. It's like magic, it's a magician, but he only has a sleep spell, no others. Alright. Other guard there, if you wouldn't mind coming back soon. I was going to say, I wonder if I can stick a rope arrow in these and climb over, but I have no rope arrows. But here's my other guard friend, anyway. You shall join this fellow over there in the corner to sleep peacefully. So, well, now we're down here, we get two gates that come into this area, north of the cemetery. I wonder how many guards are through here. Hello? I think there's one right by that door. Well, there's one watching this door, that's worse. run to somewhere he couldn't get to. Well, there's too many guards out this way and too many places I need keys for. Garrett, crouch. Thank you. Alright, well, I've annoyed the guards in the garden area a bit. So let's go back inside and upstairs and see if they've calmed down enough to uh, for me to continue my explorations there. However, so I've been in this area, I've been in this area, I know there's a guard there, I know there's a guard here and a guard there. Oh, we might read that one, am I? Let's put it there. Guards I have not dealt with. So just for future reference. Alright. Just the wind. Actually, what uh, what room do we have up here? Sitting room? Dining room? No. Wilson's room. Who's Wilson? Why not check it out while we're here? Well, it's locked. That might be why not. No, we can pick it. Did we find a guard called Wilson? I don't think so. Why would a guard have a room in the mansion? Wilson must be somebody else. Ah, uh, he's got a wooden floor, I think, thankfully. Let's just say. Lieutenant Wilson, I have some very important things to tell you. Please meet me in the garden at midnight. Lady Lucretha. Interesting. Well, we did meet... Well, we did hear of Lieutenant Wilson, I guess. Ah, oh. He's got a filing cabinet. Just let it... 11th of the 5th, Lieutenant Wilson. 
What the hell are you doing over there? Do you play cards all day long or are you flirting with some little skivvy? How is it possible that Lady Isabella just vanished under your nose like that? Lord Carlisle and Lord Baffert are both furious. My career is at stake here. I'm warning you, Wilson. If you can't find Isabella alive, I swear I will make you pay. You will go back to the slums from where you came. You'll end up polishing the boots of your own men. Sheriff Truett. I don't think I need to hang on to that one. That's just, uh... Okay, yeah, it's from Truett. We all know where it belongs. Okay. There we are. That's just letter. 428. Lieutenant Wilson. How are the investigations coming along? More than a week has passed, and although I promised Lord Baffert to take care of the situation, I have no intention of keeping half my men out there much longer. It was only two servants, after all. I want you to be prepared to return at once if nothing new arises within a week. Sheriff Truett. That's an earlier letter then, I guess, before Lady Isabella disappeared. In the bin. Good. Alright, let's unlock this one. Ooh, it's a key. White room key. Well, I hadn't even realised the white room that was locked. And now we have a key. Excellent. No secret switches under the desk. Nothing special about these paintings. Cool. What's this room? Lieutenant Wilson? Has he been murdered too? In the garden? By Lady Lucretha? That's somebody up above, I think. Journal of Lieutenant C. Wilson. 422. We have been here at Baffert's estate for three days now, but unfortunately there is no trace of the girl's yet. I made the acquaintance of Lord and Lady Buffett. To tell the truth, I saw Lord Cedric only once for about five minutes. He really comes out of his room. Lady Isabella is a very graceful and kind woman and received us with great cordiality. I also met Lady Isabella's sister, Lady Lucretha, and... I have no words to describe her. She is the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. She used to come down in... Uh, she used to come down in the garden every day for reading. So I assigned to myself the garden patrol just to see her. 4.23 She talked to me. This morning I braced myself and I made a comment about the book she was reading. So he started to talk of this and that. I discovered that she's not only a beautiful woman, but she's also very clever and likeable and... That's enough. I better stop thinking of her. As for the rest, things aren't going so well. We searched all over the manor without finding any sign of the girls. The men are discouraged. Moreover, they are dissatisfied because of the bad condition of the barracks. I must say that I've been lucky. They gave me the room of the administrator who died recently. 424. My god, am I going mad? Yesterday I was going to bed when a ghost appeared in a corner of the room. He was a young man with a sad look on his face. He kept speaking about horrible secrets that nobody knows. Since this was his room, I believe that the phantom was Lenny, the administrator. What secrets is he talking about? Is he trying to tell me something? Five slash two. Damn, Rain. I had gotten in the habit of meeting Lady Lucretha in the garden every day to have a chat, but haven't seen her for three days because of this. Pouring rain. Damn, damn. The auditor withdrawal could arrive at any moment and I wouldn't see her anymore. 5-3. At last the rain stopped. I looked forward to the moment I would be able to meet Lady Lucretha again. But when I arrived in the gar garden, she barely greeted me and kept on reading her book. What a fool I was. What did I expect? It's clear that she regrets having treated me too familiarly. I just have to get her out of my mind, that's all. 5-5. Five, five. I would have liked to be able to stay away from her, but here I am like a perfect idiot, waiting for a word from her, being happy by just looking at her. Sometimes while she's sitting on a bench reading intently, I get so close to her back that I can smell her delicate perfume. Oh my! If she were a maid, I would have no hesitation. I would approach her, and at worst I would get a big slap. But being what she is, I am without hope. 5-7. Today, Lady Lucretha fell down the stairs in the garden and hurt herself. 
so I had to take her in my arms and carry her up to her room. I was bathed in sweat, my heart was beating wildly, and it wasn't only from the strain of carrying her. I'm crazy about her. I go through fire and water to conquer her, but there's nothing I can do. The day after tomorrow we'll have to leave, and I'll never see her again. 5.10 Lady Isabella disappeared. This morning Lady Lucretha ran into my room and told me she wasn't able to find her sister. I went up to Lady Isabella's room. The door wasn't locked and the key was in the keyhole. I saw that the bed had not been slept in. For an instant I thought that the explanation could be very simple. Maybe Lady Isabella had passed the night with her husband. When I asked Lord Cedric, he told me that he hadn't seen his wife since yesterday morning. The room seemed very tidy. Nothing was out of place. In the bathroom, the bathtub was full of water, but the floor was absolutely dry, as if Lady Isabella had changed her mind and decided not to bathe. I locked the door. I will have a further look tomorrow. I passed the rest of the day questioning everyone, from the guards to the cook, but no one was able to tell me anything significant. 5.12. Two days have passed. There is no trace of Lady Isabella. Sheriff Truitt is enraged and sent me a letter full of threats. But what the hell would I have had to do to prevent this from happening? We searched the entire manor without finding anything. There were guards everywhere patrolling night and day and they never noticed anything suspicious. I don't think that a stranger got into the house to kidnap or kill the maids first and then Lady Isabella too. Why is it that nobody heard or saw nothing? I think that it concerns someone that both the girls and Lady Isabella trusted. But who can it be? If we exclude the old cook, Nelly, and obviously Lady Lucretha who remains. One of the three guards who are already here on our arrival. The old Barker, Lord Cedric. No, it's impossible. There is something sinister in this house, something evil. If only my ghost friend could make himself understood more clearly. But he kept on repeating the same phrase. Horrible secrets, horrible secrets. 5.13 Wilfred deserted. Barney, his best friend, told me that the last night while Wilfred was patrolling the cemetery, a ghost had appeared from nowhere, frightening him to death. So today, while he was on guard at the front gate, Wilfred left on the sly. Well, we don't need cowards like him, and I sure wouldn't miss him except for the fact that he took the key to the front gate away with him. I asked Barker for the spare key, but it seems that Lenny was carrying it the day he died. We discovered a hole which leads to the outside from the sewers. So I sent a man for a blacksmith, but he was out of town and couldn't be here for three days. Damn. I'll have to be sure to ration the provisions until we have a new key. With the gate locked, we cannot get new supplies into the estate. 5.15 I haven't seen Lady Lucretha for two days. A friend of hers has arrived from town and she's always accompanied by him. I just can't keep myself from being jealous, but on the other hand, I just have to face facts. It's just a noble like him that she is destined to marry one day. She would never even consider someone like me, especially in this wretched situation. She sent me a message in the afternoon. She wants to meet me tonight. I just can't guess what she has to tell me, but whatever it can be, I can't wait to meet her. Who's Lenny? I've seen the name before, and I can't remember. Lenny, the administrator. Ah. So the ghost we saw here was Lenny's ghost. Lenny had the key, the spare key to the front gate that he died. We just got an objective ticked off, did we? Well, we got the objective sound, and uh... Nothing you ticked off. Yeah, interesting. Observe. Bonus objective failed to appear. Uh, right. Um, hello, P. Dog Jr. Uh, I'm not sure who you're referring to. Okay, time to try and get creep upstairs again. Wait, we've got a key to the white room, which I guess is one of the upstairs one. Was that Isabella's room? I'm guessing so, because that explains why Wilson had the key. Okay, all these footsteps everywhere. Right, let's do some quiet creeping again. I was going to say, why is the front door open? Well, that's because I opened it. Footsteps going away from me, not coming towards me. I've only got what four, three water arrows. I'm not even four. And yeah, I need to be careful about how and where I use them to make sure they're effective. 
Wow, there's guards right outside the front door there. Alright, so there's two guards patrolling the inside corridors here, and one on the outside. Oh, uh, do you mean Skaki? Yes, uh. No, I'm on Twitter. I don't want to use two arrows just for a. Just for a little patch of darkness there, but I need to get into this one. Well, the guard appears. That's close. Alright, so that's the white room over there. I want to, I want to, I want to deal with these guards first. That's the first order of business. It's one fast, one slow, and there's no darkness for either of them, so I need to get behind them. That door's locked, I don't have a key. That's for winner's room. The white room should also be locked, but I do have the key for that one. Right, here's the slow guard. Let them go first, I'll wait for the fast one to catch up, and then I'll go after both. And I'll try to stay on the carpets this time, not jump loudly on the tile floor like last time. Here comes the fast guard as well, I think. Yeah, it really is a lot quicker. Ah, you know, he's probably still uh, eager young sergeant, or corporal, or whatever. Straight from the academy. Ooh, just in time to get past the... Uh, Guard outside, All right. Hey. Oh. Ah, bollocks. <gasps> Ow! Where's the bollocks? You almost cut my bollocks off. Alright. <laughs> this is not going well. How many guards are there? There's, There's a ton of them. Yeah, you are almost have already. Right, I need a bunch of you in a group now, so I can flash, flash bring you all together. Hey, everyone, looking my way. Oh, you're not... Bollocks. He wasn't flashed. You for it now. I know, I know, I didn't... I didn't really want it though, it was all a mistake. Maybe I can outrun him. Seems quite slow on his feet. Oh. Oh. Nope. You know something here. Maybe we can lose him out here on the balcony. It's darker. Oh, somebody else heard me. You got four men down. Dear, oh dear. Well, so much for uh, being subtle. At least I made good use of my one flashbang. Four guards. Out of five, sadly. There's no one out here. Well, someone's unconcerned. Someone else has found the an unconscious body, I think. I think that's what a code 99 means. But where? 
Oh, up there, right, yeah. So there's two guys up here looking for me. At least another one running around. Hmm. Well, uh, this is Garrett's roaring success again. Someone's calmed down. You've messed with the wrong man, thief. Yeah, I'm afraid of that. Whoops. All right. Well, um, time for plan. Not plan B. Plan. Ow! No, 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 I didn't ask for that. I didn't want to be chopped to pieces. Back to the boiler room. Back to the boiler room. It's a, at least it's a guaranteed escape. Do I have a healing potion? I've got some fruit. Ah, oh, plumsies, plumsies. Hey, you! Come back! Me? Nom nom nom. Too busy eating. Come out and fight me. I would love to. Or at least, I'd love to come out and knock you out. Join your friend here, Silas. Alright. Well, I'm being a very successful thief here. Uh, that's not fruit. I don't want to eat that. That's edible. What else have we got this edible? Bread. Get some of this health back. Good thing I raided the kitchen. Look at that cheese. Cucumbers. Well, that's all the food I got. And uh, one point was too short of full health. That'll do. That'll do. Now. How about my investigation, huh? I wish you could have sent me a disguise as a servant or something. Hmm, maybe I can knock this fellow out as he walks past. <coughs> Alright. When Sheriff Sherrod read in his letter half his men were here, he's... Wasn't exactly uh, exaggerating, was he? Still don't know how many are around, but I can't hear any just now. So that's what, six, six down? Just from that last escapade. I wonder if that's all the, th all the three that were up here. As well as a few from downstairs, I guess. Fortunately, he didn't fall into the darkness, but you know. Robert? Oh, I should have checked the names. Didn't check the name on the guy I dumped in the boiler room. Stan? Or the name of the guy I dumped in the garden. Oliver? And Reginald. All in a pile. Alrighty. Let's make a hard save there, because I think I've got a clear run of this upper floor now. No, I still hear footsteps. Oh, bollocks. Follow me to the boiler room. There's a party. You're invited. What's his name? Richard. Richard didn't make it to the party, but you can. Who was this? I'll find you. That was Alex. I'll find you. Turn around. You come back here. Me. Come and join the party. 
It's a slumber party. Adrian. Alright. Yeah. So many guards in this level. I wonder how many more there would be if I was playing an expert. I have no idea. Oh, he's deaf. I can't hit all those are very good doors. Oh. Well, that turns off the gas lamp. It's interesting. It's usually electric switches. Alright. This is the white room. It is certainly white. I believe this is Lady Isabella's room. So, hopefully in here we should find a diary. Find out what she knows. Play some music to calm my nerves. Steal some gold to uh, calm my back balance. Wait, that looks gold and I can't pick it up. Right, one star review. Nice pile of books. Yeah, there's a downstairs to this room as well. That's interesting. Is this a diary tucked under the pillow? My diary, Isabella. 12-1. I am happy, happy, happy. There are no words to describe how happy I am. Cedric and I got married yesterday and we left immediately after the wedding ceremony. For this, that will be our house. This morning I woke up in his arms and we started our life together. So I thought to begin writing this diary so that the memory of the happiness of these days may help us to get over every trouble and sorrow the future will have in store for us. 12-2. Today Cedric and I went all around the house and ran after one another like children. I loved this house since the first time I saw it. It's a little far from town, but it doesn't matter. I don't care about shopping, parties, and social life. All I want is to stay by my beloved husband and raise our children. The house belonged to Cedric's great-grandfather, Lord Duncan. After the death of his first wife, Lady Rowena, he had moved to town, so the house has been uninhabited for almost a century. It sure needs to be repaired. We want to have all the comforts, but we don't want to lose its romance. It looks just a little gloomy, but it won't be like that anymore when our children will fill it up with their voices and their games. There are two master bedrooms here, but we have no intention of sleeping in separate beds, so we'll take the one that was Lord Duncan's room. It has light colours and it's the brighter one. Perhaps that's the reason it's called the white room. It is very curious. There is also a red room, a blue room, and a yellow one. No less is eccentricity. And then there is Rowena's room. I don't know why, but entering there makes me shiver. She smiles at me from her portrait as she wanted to tell me something. But these are only fantasies, of course. 12-4. Today we hired two girls as maids. We don't need other servants. At our arrival we found a caretaker, a cook, and three guards who have lived here for several years. We'll keep them with us. Farker, the caretaker, is a strange man. He seems quite displeased at our presence. I just can't guess the reason of this. Besides these people, we have Lenny as an administrator. Lenny is more a friend than an employee. He and Cedric grew up together. We assigned him a room on the ground floor. I also took Nelly with me. She was my nurse and raised me after my mother's death. I gave her the yellow room. Even if she's too old for breastfeeding, she will be a good nurse for my children. Yesterday I found an old cradle and I put it in Nelly's room. I hope that it will be a good omen. 12.6 Today I told the cook about the strange attitude of Barker and she said it's because of Rowena's curse. They say that Lady Rowena and her lover were caught by Lord Duncan, who had them thrown in the well of despair, someplace beneath the house. This was a deep pit in which the condemned were left to die slowly of starvation and thirst, while their tormentor could watch the agony from above. What a horrible thing! How can one be so cruel? Nobody deserves to die this way, whatever is blame. Before dying, Rowena cast a curse on Lord Duncan and all his issue. She swore that she would come back to revenge herself and it was rumoured that someone had seen her wandering about the house. What a terrible story, if it were true, but most likely it's only a legend. Among other things, I went all around the house and I never saw anything like the Well of Despair. How can people still believe in this stupid superstition nowadays? 2.8 I haven't had much time to write my diary lately, there is so much to do. My team of workers has been here for over two months, but the, most of the repairs are done. We have electric lights in almost the whole house and warm water in all the bathrooms. There are still several things to do, but first of all we have to think about the statue. There's a huge statue in the middle of the garden. I don't know what it represents, maybe a demon or a pagan idol. Sure, it's a horrible monster. 
I'm sorry to have to disfigure the garden, but I don't want my children to be terrified by the thing. I myself can't look at it. Cedric agrees with me. Tomorrow the workers will blow up the statue with some explosive charges. We will plant a big tree in that place. 2-9. What a dreadful accident. Yesterday, when the workers exploded the charges, a huge chasm suddenly opened under their feet, and four of them fell in what seemed an endless black hole. We heard the desperate shouts for a little while, then nothing more. The men tried to drop some ropes. Cedric himself insisted on going down there, at least to recover the bodies, but none of the ropes was long enough to reach the bottom of that abyss. Even the torches that they threw get extinguished before touching, touching the ground. There was nothing we could do but resign ourselves. Oh my, how will we find the families how will we find the heart to tell the families of those poor men what has happened? two fifteen. Since the day of the accident, Cedric kept saying that he wanted to return to the place. He said that that day, while he was hanging on the rope, he caught a glimpse of a corridor among the rocks. So yesterday he convinced Lenny to go down there with him to explore. When they returned back, Cedric was excited as a child with his new toy. He said he said he was right. What he had seen was not a natural cavity, but the work of men, a corridor dug into the rock. They will return to explore tomorrow with better equipment and more torches. 2.16 When they came back from that second expedition, Cedric was in seventh heaven. We have discovered the remains of an ancient civilization down there, he explained. He told me that after a long walk in a narrow hallway, they had come out in a great hall with a strange fresco on its walls. At the end of the hall, they saw a huge bronze gate and a safety lock on the wall on its side. By now, it's clear that the statue hid a secret passage, which in times past they used to reach that they used to reach that underground place. Therefore, the key must be somewhere in the house. We have to search for it. In any case, they will go back down tomorrow to pick up some ancient jars they have found. I'm really worried about Cedric. The place is so dangerous, but I'll say nothing. I know he is very fond of archaeology, and he seems to be so happy. 225. It has been continuous coming and going from the caverns during the last week, but all in a great secrecy. Cedric says that apart from Lenny and me, no one has to know what they are doing until he has discovered what there is beyond the mysterious gate. Until now, whatever key they tried didn't fit the lock. If all their trials fail, Cedric said he will use some explosive. 3-5. I hardly ever see Cedric lately. He passes most of his time between the caverns and the library. He hopes to find there some information about the old inhabitants of this house and about the missing key. The explosives didn't work after all. The gate seems to be stronger than expected and a bigger quantity could permanently damage the lock. I begin to feel lonely. Tomorrow I will send a letter to my sister Lucretha, asking her to come and stay with me for a while. Lucretha has arrived yesterday. At least I have someone to speak to. Cedric is away more and more. He doesn't tell me about his research anymore. Lenny, too, seems to avoid me, as if he was afraid to have to answer my questions. In the meanwhile, the workers stopped. Cedric has dismissed all the workers. He said that he was sick of all that curious people hanging around. Well, it's just a particular period, I presume. It won't last forever. 312. Today, Cedric announced his intention to move to Rowena's room. The pretext is that he doesn't want to disturb me anymore when he comes to bed late in the night. I assented and feigned not to not give the matter importance, but I felt like I was dying. I cried all night. What is happening to Cedric? If I didn't know it was impossible, I would swear that he has another woman. 319. One of the maids has gone without telling us. Strange. I thought she was happy with us. I'll have to tell the cook to look for another girl. 321. Lenny is dead. I still can't believe it. Cedric told us that he and Lenny were going to descend in the caverns as usual when suddenly a spider came out from, no, from somewhere. Lenny got frightened. He lost his balance and fell into the chasm. From the day of the first accident, everything has gone wrong. Why, why are we persecuted by this misfortune? 3.22 A sheriff's guard has come today to draw up a report on Lenny's death. There was not much to say or to do. Unfortunately, once more, as it had been with the workers, we couldn't recover the body. We also had a visit from the parents of the vanished maid. They don't believe at all that she had left of her own free will. She was a very affectionate daughter, they said, and she'd never have left them without notice. I told them to apply to the sheriff, but at the same time I was assailed with a terrible suspicion. Maybe the girl had got near that damned hole driven by curiosity and had fallen down it. If it is so, we'll never know it for sure. That place is too dangerous. We ought to close it somehow. 3.23 
The new maid has arrived today. Her name is Daisy. She's a real beauty. And Fred, one of the guards, already has his eye on her. She seems to be a good girl. I hope she will stay with us for a long time. 4-2 At last, Cedric decided to close the scene of the accident. He called the workers again to make them build a tall fence around the hole. For the rest, the situation remains the same, if not worse. I feel as I, I don't have a husband anymore. Nellie says that I must be patient with him. Maybe she's right. Today, while I was in the garden, Barker approached me as if he had a secret to tell. Excuse me for taking the liberty of telling you, but you should leave this house before it's too late, he said. I told him to make himself clearer, so he said, I hope I can tell you more very soon. That was the limit. An old man-man with his obsessions. 417. Daisy has vanished. It just can't be an accident or an escape this time. The evening before, she had waited on our table when the morning after no one was able to find her. Fred is desperate. He and Daisy were already talking about marriage. Lord Baffin said that he will talk about the matter to Sheriff Truett. They are good friends, and he will, sure, he will be sure to do anything to help us. 420. Sheriff Truett sent a group of his guards headed by Lieutenant Wilson. It seems to me to have the house invaded by an army, but they are everywhere. We had to lodge them in the old barracks. Unfortunately, we didn't get them repaired yet, so the place is really uncomfortable. Wilson had more luck. We allowed him to take the room of the poor Lenny. 421. Wilson said that there must be a kidnapper or worse. A murderer is wandering in the neighbourhood who in some way could slip in the house. He ordered his men to search the entire house for a hidden passage from the outside. And then he said that the guards will have to patrol all around the house night and day. Obviously this does not apply to our rooms, we'll maintain our privacy. 429. Today Barker approached me again. Lady Isabella, have you noticed that both the girls disappeared in a full moon night? No, of course I didn't notice it. What does he mean? Does he think that the girls are being killed by a werewolf? What nonsense? I noticed that he passes most of his time in the library, as Cedric used to do. I wonder what he is searching for. With regard to Cedric, I never see him. He never comes out of that damned room. He doesn't even join us for meals. The maid has orders to leave the tray outside of his door. He won't let her in. Sometimes I think I have to take heart and speak to him, but I don't feel like it. There's no more confidence between us. 5.15 I'm almost sure to be pregnant. If it had happened only three months ago, I would have been beside myself with joy, but now... I had to tell Cedric, however, so this morning I went to knock at his door. When at last he decided to open, he didn't let me in, but he came out, closing the door behind his back. He seemed very annoyed. You should know that I don't want to be disturbed, he said. I looked at him. Where had the kind and cheerful man I thought I had fallen in love with gone? The one who stood in front of me was another man, a stranger, someone I didn't love anymore. So in that moment I made my decision. I didn't tell him about the baby. I want to go for away for a while, I said. Tomorrow I'll write to my father to inform him of my arrival. I'm sure you'll understand. He seemed disconcerted for a moment, but all he said was, If this is what you want, then he turned his back and returned to his room. I am more resolute than ever now. I will go away. In the afternoon, Barker approached me for the umpteenth time. I found it. All this has already happened. I have to show you something which could explain. Meet me tonight in the sacristy. I accepted the rendezvous. I am very curious. I took the key to the chapel and tonight I will meet him. What on earth could he have to show me? And that's the last page of her diary. Oh, the chapel key was tucked away in the diary. Did she not meet Barker there? Alright, well we found Lady Isabella's diary. Which was uh, one of our primary objectives. So, uh, this uh, also explains this accident area, which I didn't really understand what it meant before this. Is where there's a pit. The bottomless pit and the... Uh, passage leading to the ancient ruins is okay so oh I have been in Wilson's room let's keep my marking keep keep on with my markings here I've also been in the courtyard I've been in oh that's the white room now I know I've been in there I haven't been in any of the other rooms here uh so, let's see if these ones are locked or not, but uh, hopefully not. 
Should I try to go to the chapel then? Seems a reasonable place to go. From the chapel we should be able to get to the sacristy. And I guess the dungeon. The map doesn't make clear where the chapel's entrance is. I guess from this hallway. Which means... Uh, there's probably guards all over the shop. Um, means going down to the ground floor again. Let's finish exploring on this floor. That was definitely an info dump. So, Lady Isabella disappeared. The evening she was supposed to meet with Barker. I mean, huh. Everybody seems to fall down that uh, damn hole and die. Go for a swim. Wash off all what sewage water we uh, had to wade through at the start of the mission. <sighs> Alright, well. Dry our boots on the carpet so we don't leave footprints. I don't believe there's anyone else around out here. Wait. If that switch is for the gas lamp. Did I waste a water arrow on this one? I did too. Bollocks. Oh, never mind. Don't hear any footsteps. I'm gonna assume that as far as guards go, we're pretty clear on the upper floor. On the other hand, I did notice that Footsteps do tend to carry to the downstairs floor rather too easily. Let's put Rupert in a dark corner here. Just in case any other guards come. Now, that's not the horrible statue they were talking about blowing it up, is it? Because that's in the middle of the courtyard in the centre of the house now. That came from there and was relocated there. That's exceedingly odd. Maybe this statue also has a way hidden way into those passages. Hmm. Something to think about. Alright, here we are at the yellow room. This was the nurse's room. And it is yellow and That looks like a body. What the? I wonder what happened here. <laughs> well, something bad. One thing will stop me getting loose. She's got a... <laughs> Poor Nelly. I mean, she was old. Maybe it's just maybe it's just natural causes, you know. I'm sure it's just natural causes. She died because her legs were too elevated and because she was lying back to front on her bed. That's gotta be it. Nothing to do with this creepy old crypt they found in the house. Nothing to do with the curse, surely. Lord Carlyle, I'm asking for your help because I can't trust anyone in this house. I didn't have the courage to bring forth my suspicions before, but now that my beloved Isabella has vanished, I can't keep them to myself anymore. The night that Daisy disappeared, I saw her entering and it cuts off. Oops, I didn't mean to drop that in her head. Hmm. Saw her entering what? Oh! There's a secret passage. Or something. Let's first let's just check. Bathroom here. Very well equipped. Very very well equipped indeed. Alright. Oh, let's see. Interesting. Now, uh, Lady Isabella's diary said that um, Wilson's men had been searching all over the house for secret passages that uh, led inside and yet into the house from outside 
Well, I guess they're not counting this one from the from the basement. That just must have been for uh, wine barrels and stuff. But what this? What's this one? This is clearly surprise. This goes down a very long way. Very long way indeed. Feels like we might even be below the basement level here. I'm not sure. Hmm. Well, it's got a strange something symbol with keys on it. We're definitely going to need a key for this door. Alright, well, um... Let's make a note. We have we have a big secret passage here. We need to go and check out when we find a key. I don't have any keys. Right, chapel key is the only one I've got right now. We'll have to come back later. Alright, so we can't unlock it. Ah, uh, ladders. They're more dangerous than hammer horns, even. Right, well, this ledge there, which actually makes it harder to mantle, I think. Alright, uh, safely, yeah. Just close that again so no one else suspects anything. Take the evidence with us. Oh, yeah, let's just keep it with us. Alright, uh, that's the yellow room. Uh, now the red room. That's another body. At least she hasn't mysteriously disappeared. But considering she was halfway through writing a note, seems like maybe she was killed. No, is this red? Is that the red room? Or is this the blue room? That's the blue room. I mean, it was very blue, even with the lights on. Loot. At least some things are normal. I will ask for Lucretha's hand in marriage tomorrow. I wonder if she is aware of the great honour it will be for her to become part of our noble and ancient family. I will also have to suggest her not to wear her showy dresses when she comes to meet my mother. Who would stay in the blue room? Well, I can hear a guard coughing, so he can probably hear me pumping around. I have to be a little more quiet. He's not gonna be in the bathroom, he must be somewhere Who's down. Making those noises? Oh wait. It's not a guard coughing. How odd. There's nothing there. No? You won't have people. <gasps> hey! Watch it! Oof! <laughs> Famous last words. You can also be sleeping in your bed. Alright. Uh That's Percival. Okay, that this must be his room. Who is Percival? I won't have people sneaking around behind my back and knocking me on the head. Does the toilet flush? No. Sad. This... Does this look suspicious to you? Looks suspicious to me. Like it might be another bookcase hiding a secret passage. Hmm. Hard to say though. Very weird if it's just a bookcase. <laughs> no switches around the bed. That might be just a bookcase, you know. Obviously, more suspicious of secret passages than 
the average uh, person who would hire, who would be in this house. Uh, in this house, can't see anything. But like, there's a big indentation in the wall. It's got to be. There's got to be a secret cupboard at least behind there. But uh, I don't see any way to access it from this side. I didn't search the bathroom, that's a long way away for a, a hidden switch from the door that it opens. Switch in the bottom of the bath. Got a toilet and a bidet. Check both the doorways near. What about the painting? I'm all around the paintings. Oh, wait, this painting sticks out from the wall, does it? Is that just a mis <laughs> mistake, or is there something behind it too? All right. Uh, if I'll put a question mark here because uh, it's suspicious. Oh, why did this one disappear? Oh, because it was after I I did it between my last save and falling to my death. I guess. Alright, so there's some kind of secret passage in the blue room I don't know about yet. Uh, oh, let's go to the balcony and the front steps. Alright, oh, the guards who were down here came running around after me before, so... That other way in is now safer than it used to be. That's an outside light. Oh, let's switch them off. Let's make the balcony safer. Creepy portraits. Not stone, not tile. Alright, well now we can see the front gate. Oh, what? Why are you standing on the parapet, you silly guard? I don't know, whatever. So from here, let's just check the overall map. So, oh, we can see the uh, area I started in, off to the right and off to the left is the cemetery. I don't remember that uh, towery, cagey place. Above Barker's apartment. Don't remember seeing that. Uh, maybe I just wasn't looking. Well, I might actually be able to get from here. If I could walk along that hedge top. Statue's making it harder. There's a little, uh, little roof there. I could get to where the whole, where, to, to the site of the accident, right? Oh no, so the other accident's the other side of the house, out the back. They get to the cemetery where there's apparently a ghost. Um, alternatively... Oh, he's a nuisance, he's looking the wrong way. I could drop down here or take out that guard and possibly get behind that guard. Well, I could definitely get behind that guard because these two doors interconnect. Yeah, that's actually too good an opportunity to pass up. Let's carefully drop off here. Oop. Who's just in here patrolling? Going away anyway. Another front beast egg. Oh. If I didn't know better, I'd say they might be behind the mysterious disappearances. It just exploded people. Fernando, stay there. Alright. Let's get around behind this other guard. I don't know who I was hearing there. Whether he comes out in the garden or not, that's kind of who I was running. It would definitely ruin my plans if he does. 
Right, the other guy should not be looking this way anymore. He must have gone running after me and then come back to his post. A cemetery. That's original. Uh, that's a very strange, snarky remark, even for you, Garrett. Lots of people have ceremonies because lots of people die and need to be buried. You know, it's it's not uncommon. Nobody else comes through here, do they? I think he just walks around the yard. Okay, well, it's been an hour and five minutes, and that tells me it's time for another short break. So I will see you in five minutes for the next episode, when we will explore the cemetery. Thanks for watching.